In this video, I will show you how to calculate grain size by using Shearer equation. So the formula is like grain size equal to Shearer constant into the wavelength of X-ray divided by beta, which is the full width half maxima, and the cos theta. Theta is the half of the peak center. So first get your XRD data and choose the most intense X-ray peak. In this case, I have used Origin software to perform the peak fitting, where black line shows the experimental data and the red line is the fitted curve by using Lorentzian function. Through fitting, I got the peak center and full width half maxima. If you want to learn how to perform fitting, you, you can watch my previous video. After fitting, we got the full width half maxima, which is beta, and the peak center, which is 2 theta. K is the 0.94, which is a shearer constant for spherical particle. Lambda is the wavelength. You will be confused that the wavelength which I am showing is much smaller than what we see usually from copper kelpha, which is 2.54 angstrom. Why it's so small? Because I have used a synchrotron XRD to record this X-ray diffraction pattern, theta. This is half of the true theta value, which is 22 over here, and is in degree. So first thing we need to do is convert into radius. Multiply this number, that C2 is the C and the 2, with the pi divided by 180. Similarly, for beta, which is again in the degree, multiply this number with the pi divided by 180. So this way we get theta and beta value in radian. Now we have to write down the formula, that is Schiller equation, which is B2, that is a K, A2, which is the wavelength divided by in bracket F2. F2 is the full width half maximum, that is beta, and into cos theta, enter the grain size, which is 15.38 nanometer. I hope through this video you learn how to calculate grain size. Please do like, share and subscribe. And also don't forget to press the bell icon button to be updated with my new videos. Thank you.